Kilauea Vol Cups on Hawaii Island, Drawing Vacationers. One of the world's most active volcanoes erupted Monday after a three-month hiatus, spewing a 300-foot plume of bright orange lava, according to the United States Geological Survey USGS. Kilauea Volcano on Hawaii Island, also known as the Big Island, began erupting around 2.20 a.m. and continued throughout the day, drawing crowds to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, which is open to the public 24 hours a day. The USGS also broadcast live footage of the spectacle. By 5.30 a.m., 500 acres of lava covered the floor of the caldera, a large depression formed when a volcano erupts and collapses, according to the National Park Service. Photos and video obtained by CNN showed lava fountains flowing and spreading across the caldera floor. This is a very exciting moment. This is a very large, very powerful eruption, Ken Hun, chief scientist at the USGS's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, said in a live stream chat. This eruption is happening quite rapidly. This is the fifth eruption that has occurred at the summit of Kilauea since December 2020, he said, adding that lava flows have covered a 400-acre lava lake that began in 2020. Between 3 and 4 p.m., the volcano's activity began to slow significantly, scientists said. By about 5 p.m., experts reported that the area around the volcano was only about a square mile in size. The lava was also estimated to be about one yard thick, according to a release from the USGS. Authorities assured the public that the eruption was not in danger because it is within a national park, but the level of volcanic gas emissions is very high and is spreading downwind from the crater, affecting air quality, the USGS said. The National Park Service advised people with respiratory and heart conditions to exercise caution. Plumes of red lava and waves of volcanic gas have begun erupting from Kilauea on Hawaii's Big Island, one of the world's most active volcanoes. The eruption is confined to the volcano's summit caldera, in a remote and closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reported. The increase in seismic activity began about 2 a.m. local time, and within about a half hour, webcam images began showing lava emerging through cracks in the caldera erupting like a fountain. A live stream of the eruption, broadcast by the U.S. Geological Survey on Monday, showed a plume of hot lava shooting upward, followed by a plume of gas and ash that rose as high as 260 feet, 80 meters, Monday morning. The lava is coming out at a very rapid rate, as is typical at the beginning of these eruptions, Ken Hun, scientist in charge at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, said during the USGS livestream. The most immediate threat is volcanic ash that could reach homes downwind, the observatory said. The smoke contains sulfur dioxide and can worsen symptoms for people with conditions such as asthma, other respiratory problems or cardiovascular disease. The area where the eruption occurred has been closed to the public since 2007 because of hazards including crater wall instability, ground cracks and rockfalls. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park encompasses the summits of two of the world's most active volcanoes, Kilauea and Mauna Loa. Kilauea also erupted in June and September this year, and except for a quiet period between 1924 and 1952, it has erupted periodically since written records began. Eruptions can last for a few days, or last for a year. In 2018, Kilauea erupted from May to August destroying more than 700 homes. It is a shield volcano, a broad, massive formation that resembles a flat-lying soldier's shield, unlike composite volcanoes that form a conical peak. In 2019, 
USGS scientists confirmed the presence of a growing water-filled lake within Hala Mau Mau Crater, an active vent within the summit caldera, marking the first time in modern history that water has been visible from the volcano's summit.